Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love affordable fashion, beauty, also fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and stick around, be a friend. And yes, I have recently been adding a lot more fragrance content into my channel. It is something that I'm really passionate about right now. I'm on a fragrance kick. I prefer to purchase perfume more than I do makeup right now. So you're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of that in the future. But today I am very excited to review the new fragrance from Sabrina Carpenter, who by the way, congrats, killing it, opening up for Taylor Swift on the Eras Tour. That's amazing. But we have her brand new Sweet Tooth, a different flanker from the original. This is the Caramel Dream. And this is a good one, you guys. This is really, really good. So if you want to hear all my thoughts on this very affordable fragrance from a girl who is killing it in real life, keep on watching. All right, you guys. So what drew me to want to purchase this, this is the outside cardboard packaging, by the way. What drew me to this is one, I love Sabrina Carpenter. I think she is so talented. I think she's beautiful. Um, I really enjoy a lot of her music. She's got this really neat edge to her lyrics. And so I had been wanting to try the original Sweet Tooth, but even though I do really like sweet fragrances a whole lot more than I used to, I generally want there to be some complexity to it or some other notes in it that make it a little bit more interesting than just complete sweet fluffy sweetness <laughs> and that's what the original sweet tooth um just seemed like it would be to me now i actually have not smelled that i'm a little bit more curious to smell it after this one that i'm in love with but let me go ahead and just pop in the notes of the original right here and I've got my little notes right here. So the original, and it was in a pink bottle. I will say this bottle is not my favorite, although it's $30. So how much, you know, I say how much are we going to expect, but there's some really beautiful, affordable bottles as well. Like I'm thinking specifically of Latafa. Um, if you guys haven't tried that brand, it's a it's a great affordable fragrance brand that has gorgeous exotic looking bottles. So actually maybe I'm not going to give a pass because I just think this looks not cute. The pink one, even though it's the exact same, but pink just looked prettier than this one. But the original sweet tooth is marshmallow, candy, ginger, chocolate, bergamot, middle notes are Madagascar, vanilla, coconut, milk, jasmine, base notes are whipped cream, sugar, musk, and uh cashmere wood so i mean it sounds kind of pretty but like it's just a lot of sweet like you've got marshmallow you've got sugar you've got candied ginger you've got what was the other really sweet whipped cream i'm like okay maybe if they did like one of those you know two of them but all of that just sounded really really sweet to me now this one however whenever i read the notes to this i thought okay, now we're talking because this has a lot more of a well-rounded DNA to it. So pop in the notes over here, but I will read them. This is almond milk, sugar, orange, lemon, freesia, vanilla, dark chocolate, orange blossom, and orchid. And bottom notes are patchouli, sandalwood, musk, caramel, and amber. So what we get out of this is really quite special. You guys, okay. I'm really into niche fragrances. That's what I, I do have designer fragrances. There are some that I think are really, really good. And I will continue to also occasionally buy designer, but my, my nose loves niche fragrances because they're just not the run of the mill every day. You know, just, they're not always made for the masses, and so they're more interesting. This smells more like a niche fragrance to me. This is so warm, cozy, sweet, sexy, sensual. It is so pretty. So we have that sweetness. 
for sure. Like that almond milk, we have the sugar, and then the citrus that's in here kind of gets lost, I will say. There's like a hint of something bright, and I think that is the citrus that it's picking up, that orange and that lemon, but it's definitely not prominent. It's just kind of balancing the rest of the notes in here and bringing a bit of brightness to it. What also makes this one so different sounding from the first one, since I have not actually smelled the first one, but is that you have more, you have florals in here as well. And then you have that amber in the base that makes it real warm and rich. And the florals, I think also work really nicely in this because I don't always love every floral. I've got a lot of floral fragrances that I do love, but floral can go real wrong at the same time for me. Orchid is such a deep and sensual flower. I really, really enjoy orchid. It, it elevates, I think. I think it elevates a fragrance. Now the freesia, straight up freesia, I'm not a huge fan of but it does have sort of, Freesia has like a fruitiness to it. And so I think that is playing really nicely with the rest of these notes here. Now I will also show you just, it sprays really nicely. Evenly distributes, so we love that. And when it first, the first spray, before any kind of dry down, it is very, caramel like it is warm you get a lot of that amber but as it starts to dry down it has almost this like smokiness to it and I think it's something that would be perfect to wear I'm I'm envisioning right now like we do this little thing with our kids we call it camping but I'm not a camper mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't even really want to glamp <laughs> so our camping is after the time change and it gets darker earlier we do roasted marshmallows and s'mores in our backyard with our fire pit we play like spooky music and it's just always really fun we tell ghost stories and i'm already thinking like this is what i want to wear it just has it almost has something in it that reminds me a lot of um imaginary authors the um with a waffle cone. I've got it back here behind me actually on top of those lockers. With a waffle cone has, it's the cinnamon in it that kind of like gives it like a little bit of spiciness and then the rest of with waffle cone is very sweet. And even though there's no cinnamon in here, it almost seems like it should be. Maybe it's the patchouli in it. And the patchouli is not a strong patchouli where you smell it and you smell patchouli. I think it's just what's balancing some of these sweeter notes in here. It's just beautiful. I'm so impressed with this fragrance. I mean, I am really excited to see what she comes out with next. And I hope, I kind of hope, I mean, the flanker, I mean, you know, if she continues on with this, maybe she'll do like a lemon bar. Or maybe, I mean, there's a lot that she could do, I guess, in this same line, but I would like to see her maybe branch out and do something a little bit more sophisticated. Like this fragrance is sophisticated. The bottle's not very sophisticated. So because now I know that she can do a sophisticated fragrance, if she comes out with a beautiful bottle and I will be, I will be all over that, all over that. This is a fun fact. Do you guys know Sabrina Carpenter's only 4'11"? She is so bitty and that just kind of makes me even more like, wow, like what a, what a powerhouse. I mean, I guess you have, you know, Ariana Grande is super tiny too, but just these voices and this talent and just the, the way that they can command a stage and be so tiny is just so impressive to me. So I'm very, 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 very happy with this purchase. I got mine off of Walmart. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else that you can get this. Um, 30 bucks, you guys, 30 bucks. And I'd say the lasting power, I should mention that, is not the longest, but it's also not the shortest. You know, there's a lot of like 
clean beauty fragrances that last maybe like two hours, something like that. This is definitely more of the four to six hours. You know, you could definitely layer this with your favorite lotions to get it to last a bit longer, spray it on your clothes, spray it in your hair. I would also say that this is more of a fall fragrance. It's a little warm and sensual for summertime. So it's actually a perfect time to purchase it now and start bringing it out when it just gets a little bit cooler. And I would also say this is more of a nighttime fragrance. You could definitely wear it during the day. Like There are no rules. You can wear whatever fragrance you want any time of year, any time of day. But I just think this is a perfect like date night, a cozy by the fire fragrance, like when you just want to feel like beautiful and kind of sexy and a little bit sweet, but a little bit mysterious. I just think it's perfect for that. So I highly recommend it to you guys and price point is amazing. And I'm just really excited to see whatever she comes out with next. You guys let me know your thoughts about this fragrance. Are you going to pick it up now? Are you liking the fragrance content that I'm doing? Let me know in the comments. Be sure you subscribe and as always have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.